The creator called The Ordinary Toast has created a level called Icy Travel here. Um, it's quite complicated, um, but it's been cheesed. Yeah. And then it was simplified, because, you know, there were spaghetti rules on the right side. And now the culmination of that is this level called Perpetual Motion, which is basically taken that entire level and simplified it. Um, so this is basically Planetary Travel 2, um, with a lot- with less rules, although the stars- I don't like the stars. They honestly make the level feel even more complicated, but the stars just stop, UFO is push, and the dust eat rocket. So the whole idea is that we can't get this text out of here at all. So we're actually going to keep Rocket as Pulp in this location. This is our, a bit of a starting point. But we can walk on dust, and we need to get that flag out to say flag is win, and then recover and go down here. So, yeah, we gotta start this. Hmm. So, you have both can actually freely go here, which is nice. The rocket itself isn't pushed. We have actually very little room about that particular thing. Hmm, so we could try something like that. No. Hmm. We can't appear to move the text around, so we must do something like this in order to move stuff around. And the text that's stuck in this little, um, this cloud uh, area. So we can do this. But we'd really prefer that the UFOs probably go here, here, and then maybe up from there? I'm not sure. I don't think there's any actual point to go in, in these, but we'll try anyway. So this is very currently wasteful as, as for the UFOs. Yeah. And now we'd, <laughs> we'd like to find some way to get down. That's going to be pretty hard. I guess that's the whole thing, huh? Alright, so I guess it's time to time this. And, well, I'm not actually sure that the flag goes that, I mean, the text flag could go, no, it couldn't go to the left. Yeah, that makes no sense. Even with rocket as flag or something, that doesn't make much sense. Okay. So I believe that we want to find a way to do that and then leave the, the UFO in there, but this seems really hard. Hmm. Especially with nothing else sitting there. Hmm. Alternatively, like... Rocket is win, but that's pretty much impossible, I think. Hmm. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if the word flag was coming down here. I don't know. Actually, due to the clouds, we can never have flag is rocket or whatever. We can maybe blip it, but no. So, dusty rocket, so the rocket can't be here. But it's so hard. How do you get anything? Like, how do you push down into, um, into a win? Hmm. I like how I didn't explain at the start of the video, but, like, the UFOs are the reason the rocket is being pulled. Like, I, I would not be able to move in any other direction. But, pushing the UFO also pulls the rocket along with it, and I need to be on top of the rocket, otherwise I become not, uh, I become lonely because I'm on an empty tile, and only the not lonely Bob is, is you. Hmm. But four UFOs is, like, so far from being enough to get anything up there. Okay, you can do something like that, which is very cursed, um, blipping into existence. Because this feels like almost a troll level, like th that you can't ever get a UFO near that flag is win, even though you need it. So, I don't know. So silly. Alright, I'm out of ideas, but, oh, what the hell just happened? I got the rocket, lol. Alright, so I'm gonna get all the UFOs here because it looks suspicious, but I don't know. This looks useless. Somehow this feels bad, like... This is not gonna make it up there. I guess I can kind of drop it back down, but... It's just not good to do this. We're not going to be able to put something here because three UFOs aren't enough for that one. Maybe... No... Gosh, I was hoping there was some sort of way to to get stuff up and then make it come back, but I don't know about it. Alright, so, I am back. And I think I have a... Like, the name of the level is called Perpetual Motion. So I have the sense that we're supposed to, like, use this, 
and then come down. The problem is it's kind of hard to make work, but I really hope it does. Like, it, that would make complete sense if perpetual motion meant some sort of infinite you could do with these. Um, so yeah, we're going to try that. Now, the problem is you do need the UFOs set up in a way that you can loop around and get the rocket back. But, you know, hopefully, like, hopefully it's just easy. So it would look like that, right? Yeah, we don't want the rocket to die, so it needs to be something like that. Um, not that I understand how this will help, but we're gonna try it anyway. Like, the thing is, I, I just, I just foresee that even though that rocket is technically high, not, not rocket, the UFO is technically higher, um, that rocket is not really possible to move up into the right, I believe, which is the direction that we might expect that to go. Hmm. But, you know, those two FUs on the left are recovered. Alright, let's just see, uh, let's just show the process, right? Assuming this is the idea that works, so we do that, and then continue the pattern with new UFOs somehow. So set that. Ugh, I don't like the UFO positioning being there, but I really hope that doesn't quite mean that the rocket needs to be up here, and the rocket is pull needs to be above. I guess the rocket is pull text could be below. Alright, we're gonna make it below that. Hmm. This is not working. How about this? No. Fine. We'll just put it here. And then here. So that we can do that and that. And then now we need to set the other UFOs again. I'm still skeptical this might work, but it's the only thing I can think of for why this level is named this way. So, again, we set this up. And these go here. That one goes to the left, down. Okay. Oh, there you go. Seriously, I'm failing. Alright, there we go. So, okay. Hmm. I don't know, it seems like it's freaking working. Alright, so... Here? Now the next time we do the rocket is pull, will probably be over to this side. Alright, we just set those up, and... Here we are. Set these UFOs up again. Gosh, this level is genius. Like, I was... I might have sort of had the idea of what if this was a level concept in my mind, but wow. Wow, because I, di I didn't even see that this was where this level was going towards. And I, to be fair, I still don't really like how much, um, like, the right side of the screen looks a little ugly in my opinion, but... Jeez, oh, this is really satisfying. Alright, so... No, whoops. Hmm. Alright, now we are going to set things up to get the flag and then move down and we can easily win from there. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to cut anything from this section, I think. Doesn't seem like it makes much sense to do. But we're going to need to mo move um, left from here, though, which might be a little odd. Probably bring the UFO here. Up, left. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I thought, because, like, it hangs off from the edge, doesn't it? When you try something like that. I'm not sure this is the easiest it seems right now, actually. I'm very much not happy about how this is stuck. Wait, hold on. Um, at the, at the final stage, I was probably supposed to do something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna undo. I think at the final stage that we also end up winning. Um, we don't sacrifice these. Alright. There we go. Very, very well done. Good job. Really good level. Um, see ya.